When we think about America, we often think about guns. We see them in pop culture, in the media, and in many parts of American society. This is nothing new, and for many Americans, it is not an issue. But for more and more Americans, this is seen as one of the biggest problems facing the country, and it has become one of the most hotly debated issues in America. In these couple of films, we'll be taking a look at the social and political issue of guns in America. And in this film, we'll look at how America compares to the rest of the English-speaking world and what some of the effects are on American society. Starting off with USA versus the world, we'll have to look at some statistics. In this map, we'll first look at the number of guns for every 100 citizens in English-speaking countries. Canada, the biggest neighbor to the US, has 35 guns for every 100 citizens. New Zealand has 30 guns per 100 citizens, and Australia has 13.7. South Africa has 12.7, and India has 4.2. The United Kingdom has 2.8, and just for reference, Norway has just over 31 guns per 100 citizens. But in America, on the other hand, there are 120.5 guns for every 100 citizens, meaning that the US have more guns than citizens, which is more than any other country. Part of the reason is because getting a gun in America is considerably easier than in many other countries. But how do these countries compare when it comes to homicides caused by guns? Here we'll look at the number of gun murders for every 100,000 inhabitants. Canada has just over 0.5, New Zealand has 0.2, Australia has 0.15, South Africa, which has struggled with crime, inequality and poverty, has almost 13, India has 0.3, the UK has 0.02, and again for reference, Norway has 0.06 homicides caused by guns for every 100,000 inhabitants. The United States, in comparison, has 4.46 gun homicides for every 100,000 citizens. That means, while having four times the number of guns than Norway per capita, the US has 75 times the number of gun murders than Norway per capita. So, the number of guns and gun murders are extremely high in America, compared to most of the English-speaking world. But what are some of the effects on American society? Well, if we only look at 2020, 45,000 people died from guns in the US. Of these, more than 24,000 were from suicides and more than 19,000 were from homicides or unintentional shootings. In 2020 alone, there were 610 mass shootings, which is when four or more people are shot and injured or killed in the same incident. In the same year, there were 21 mass murders, which is when four or more people are shot and killed in the same incident. Another troubling statistic comes when we look at the number of school shootings. In the 1990s, there were 97 school shootings in America. In the first decade of the 2000s, there were 68. But in the decade following 2010, there were 231 school shootings. You may have heard of Columbine High School in 1999, Virginia Tech in 2007, Sandy Hook Elementary School in 2012, Stoneman Douglas High School in Florida in 2018, and Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas in 2022. Combined from these five incidents alone, more than 100 teachers, students, and children were killed. For American children and adolescents between the age of 1 and 19, guns are now the number one cause of death. Think about that for a minute. If you are an American between the age of 1 and 19, you are more likely to die from guns than from cancer, motor vehicle accidents, drug overdose, heart disease or congenital disease. America is the only Western nation where guns is the number one cause of death for children and adolescents. The sheer number of gun fatalities and the easy access to firearms has led many Americans to campaign for stricter gun laws and more regulations. As we're about to see in the coming films, 
this issue has become one of the most heated debates in American society.